Lucas A. Yo, what is going on boys and girls? It's your boy Bat with another video. Oh, the channel is blowing up. We got like 700 subscribers in like a day. Like what is going on? That's mental. But welcome back to the channel if you're new. My name is Nico A, the merch, the merch. Uh, and I used to be in the army for five years. Here's a little like real pictures of that now. Uh, yeah, basically I do reaction videos, I do airsoft, we talk about my experience in the military, we'll probably chuck in a vlog here and there, I am here to stay, I'm going to make videos and you should forever because I love it. Right, now, before we get into that, also the Giza Garrison is blowing up as well, we're now way over 600 members, if you don't know what the Giza Garrison is, that is my Discord, okay, it's for all my, uh, like, it's where all my fans hang out from airsofters, military vets, personnel still serving, and they're all there talking about what they've done, what people want to do, talk about airsoft events, airsoft guns, blah blah blah, etc, etc, you get the picture, but it's blowing up, so, this shout out is for everybody who is in the Gears of Garrison, my Discord, <coughs> so this is just for one person who's subscribed, hit that notification button, it's in the Gears of Garrison, and you're just basically supporting me on my channel, so, actually, it's going to go to Mod Marcus today. You are so active, bro, and a really valuable mod. Also, congratulations to Mod Super Dave, who's just picked up Mod in the Gears Garrison. Well done, mate. Right, also, if you want some merch, ooh, DM me on Instagram, okay? Right, now, we are reacting to the top 10 most badass units in the world. So, this is not elite, this is... This gives us opinion of the most badass units. Now, if it was down to me, Polish Special Forces Grom, 100% has to be in there. Obviously, I'm British, so um, uh, the SAS, SBS, have to be in there, right? But that obviously, because I'm British, we'll take that away from there. So we'll see what happens, but definitely, I re obviously Delta Force is going to be in there. Grom have to be in there. I reckon Devgru will be in there. SAS, SBS, maybe a German unit as well. Let's have a look. So let's see what we got. Roll the clip. The lock and load, but should you fail your mission, we reserve the right to disavow all knowledge of your enjoyment of this video. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 elite special forces oh. units. Oh, so the flash of Grom then. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the deadliest and clandestine military units that specialize in high-risk operations, such as infiltration, hostage rescue, and reconnaissance. Not Number 10, GIGN. Okay. National Gendarmerie Intervention Group. <sighs> Number France. 10, After no. After the deadly terrorist attack at the 1972 Olympics in Munich, France assembled an elite SWAT team designed to specifically deal with hostage situations, but whose expertise has since broadened in scope. With approximately 380 operatives, each member undergoes a rigorous training period of 14 months that is comprised of weapons training, airborne insertion, and survival skills in almost any environment. The GIGN also has... I'm really surprised that he's put GIGN at number 10. Like, their training is hideous. They're very, very elite. I've seen training uh, videos of them where they're shooting at each other for training, bro. Or that little, like, you know, clay pigeon shooting discs. Number 10, I don't agree with that. Some of the best shooting skills in the world. Look, some of the most shooting at their own blokes, mate. That's badass as fuck. Today. Although their operations are largely classified. The successful rescue of 166 hostages from a hijacked Air France flight in 1994 solidified the GIGN's reputation Damn. for tactical prowess. As the GIGN entered, a gun battle ensued at a distance of only five feet. The muzzle flashes can be seen in this footage through the cockpit window. Number nine, JWGROM. Grom number nine. Poland sends in their special forces. They bring the thunder, quite literally too, since that's what Grom means in several Slavic languages. After a couple of unsuccessful... Again, I don't agree with that at all. Grom are feared. They are respected by the English forces and the American forces. But, like, they are renowned for, like, getting shit done. A scary unit. Badass. I don't agree with that at all. ...proposals. The Polish government finally agreed to form a counter-terrorism unit in 1990, following the takeover of one of their embassies in Switzerland, as well as the shooting deaths of two Polish diplomats in Beirut. Modeled after and trained by some of the most elite forces in the world, such as Delta Force and the SAS. 
This group of soldiers specializes in creating havoc behind enemy lines, along with severely disrupting terrorist oh, activity. So Ali, mate. Apart from being expert killers, three quarters of the Grom are trained medics because the best defense is a good offense. Number nine, Sariat Matkal, Israel. This top secret branch of the Israeli Defense Force specializes in deep reconnaissance and intelligence gathering techniques. I need to make a reaction video to these, I'm done, yeah. After the British SAS, going so far as to even borrow their motto, who dares, wins. So they've got the after same motto as well, okay. And exhausting selection process, recruits undergo approximately a year and a half's worth of training, including counterterrorism, parachuting, and multiple forms of combat such as Krav Maga, a brutal style of self-defense that was created by the IDF itself. Unlike it is Israel's brutal, naval mate. commandos, Shayatet 13, Sariat Matkal is primarily a strategic unit whose missions are meticulously planned and are so secretive that they're not allowed to wear their insignia in public because plausible deniability is the name of the game. The Israeli soldiers killed the guards, they busted into the hangar where the hostages were. Uh, they killed all the terrorists, and they got all the hostages and flew out. Number seven, Special Services Group, Pakistan. Consisting Good of roughly 5,600 soldiers, the SSG Number has seven. been active since 1956 what is going on? and has been the main special operations unit of Pakistan's army. Training of its members is heavily Above focused Grom. on physical preparation, with only a Above small percentage of recruits making it through the process. They have conducted exercises Damn. with elite forces from the United States, Turkey, as well as China. Refining There's going to be some upset warfare. people in the and comment section, I'm telling you that now. One of the toughest combat diving courses in the world. Being in such close proximity to Afghanistan, this unit has been a key player in the war on terror and is credited as being responsible for the death of the global operations chief of Al-Qaeda. Number six, Special Air Service Regiment, Australia. Australia, mate. Sorry, if you're Australian, no, that's a terrible accent. I do apologize. Yet another group copied after the training and selection process of the British SAS. Australian Special Forces breed some of the deadliest warriors on the battlefield. The main focus of this regiment is counter-terrorism, peacekeeping, as well as quelling domestic situations. Recruits are hand-picked from within the military, then weeded out during an intense three-week course where prospective trainees are subjected to a battery of physical and mental evaluations. <coughs> Smaller yeah. reconnaissance squads skilled in evasion tactics allow them to slip in and out of enemy territory to gather oh, intelligence. Oh, that guy just stacked it. <laughs> they don't see that then, that guy stacked it. Bless. Tactics allow them to slip in and out. ...to paint targets for surgical airstrikes. These guys can snatch up high-value personnel or blow up airfields faster than a dingo can eat a baby. I'm sorry, a dingo ate your baby. You know that's a true story. Lady lost a kid. Great Number film. Five, JTF2, Joint Task Force 2, Canada. These have got a big... These have got a big following, these boys have. These boys have got a big following. I did a reaction video to this, uh, to these guys, and uh, it did well, yeah. I like this unit. Oh, Canada, who even knew you had a team of special forces? Probably not many, because apparently it's mandated by the government to never Ali. mention their existence. But not only do they exist, they are also considered to be one of the most elite forces operating in the world today. Active since 1993, there is little known about this highly classified unit, but they have played instrumental roles in arenas worldwide, such as Libya, nice. Haiti, and Afghanistan. Their involvement in the rescue of three peacekeepers in Iraq was lauded by British and US officials. Apart from acting as bodyguards to military and government executives traveling outside of the country, they also helped secure facilities during the 2010 Winter Olympics. Number four, Delta Ooh, Force. Ooh, number four. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> okay, I haven't seen SAS yet, Special so there's still hope yet. Operation Detachment Delta. It's almost impossible for a list like this not to include these bad boys. Established in 1977, this group of operatives excels at missions involving counterterrorism, hostage rescue, and reconnaissance. Like most other special forces, members are chosen from within the military, and the percentage of those who actually pass remains incredibly low. Mm. Out of two classes of 120 people each, probably 12 to 14 made it. 90%. Just look at that geezer. He just literally looks like. An American. He's a massive head, absolute unit, mate. Just like look at the camera like this. Yeah, Delta Force, like. Do you know what I mean? That's literally how I, I like picture a Delta Force operator. Literally, that guy. That guy. Ten of our best soldiers can't make it through selection. However, once successful, further vetting from the CIA can result in Delta operators inducted into even more highly covert units. I don't really know what they're looking for because that's a secret. Although most of their operations are classified, 
Their involvement has become known during Operation Desert Storm, as well as Operation Gothic Serpent, which was made famous in Ridley Scott's Black Hawk Down. <laughs> Number 3. Alpha Group, Russia Russia. Okay, that's a fair that's If a there's fair one place thing to learn from history, that. it's never to underestimate the Russian military. Like, ever. While little is known about Correct. what exactly Alpha Group's primary objectives are, their scope has extended over the years from strictly domestic missions to include those abroad. I'll tell you what their primary objective is, is to fuck shit up, mate. You do not mess with the Russians. Don't do it. Don't do it, mate. We also know that no matter where they operate, it would appear collateral damage they is not of the highest concern. Whether it be assassinating a young boy training, while forcing mate. a regime change in Afghanistan, or dozens of hostages being killed during a botched rescue attempt on home soil, Alpha will get the job done, even if they have to level an yeah. entire city block in the process. Hey, you know what they say about eggs and omelets, right? Like, Number 2. Navy SEALs, USA Unlike their Delta brothers, this team of soldiers is widely mm. acknowledged by the military and now, I don't know if I agree with that. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a SEALs fan. They are cool as fuck, but I feel like the hype, the badass hype, do you know what I mean? Dev grew on another, do you know what I mean? Mm, I'm not too sure about that, we'll, we'll see. Praised for their superior tactics in sea, air, and land. Hence, SEAL. SEALs. Yep. Sea, air, and land. Trainees must undergo the trials and tribulations of the infamous Hell Week, a six-day endurance course where hopeful candidates undertake a series of grueling challenges all while operating on less than four hours of sleep. SEAL groups are broken up into teams of 1 to 5 and 7 to 10 respectively, with the specially designated Team 6 being the best of the pest, requiring even more training than regular members. These are the guys responsible for killing Osama bin Laden yeah. and See, rescuing that, Tom that, Hanks, uh, that was Captain group, Phillips, right? from Somali pirates in the Indian Ocean. Execute! Before we come to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. There's no thanks in this line of work. Don't come Marsoc. here expecting someone to say thank you Agreed. so much for what you're doing. Marsoc, oh, You'll get that from civilians if walking inside the road just being the military. Go, go, go. Number one, Special right, Air Service, this. SAS, United Yeah, Kingdom. boys. Considered the best in the world, there's a reason so many other countries mm. have used these guys as a template for their own branch of special forces. For example, their endurance test is a notorious race against time, where troops traverse 40 miles in full gear over a mountain in 20 hours, before having to run four miles in three minutes and then swim two miles in under 90 minutes. Although it's becoming harder to distinguish oh, between the SAS and the SBS, the which stands for fun. Special Boat Service, the latter's diverse nature and additional training makes them better equipped to handle a wider variety of situations. And despite being active since World War II, their storming of an Iranian embassy in 1980 was what brought the regiment worldwide recognition. So guys, do you agree with that? Who would you put as your top 10 most badass units? Obviously, being from England myself, I obviously, I'm obviously going to pick SES for the top spot. But for second, oh mate, I really rate Grom. I don't know why Grom is so like so low in this list, mate. Grom is like Ali. Um, I probably would have swapped Delta Force around with Navy SEALs. I think Delta Force. Um, Delta Force are a lot more bad boy mate like they've got like the black budget they only answer to the president like that is just insane do you know what I mean um uh, uh Dev Guru and Navy SEALs are two different entities aren't they like correct me if I'm wrong but I, I do believe you've got Navy SEALs and then Dev Guru are a more uh, like are a more elite section right correct me if I'm wrong but yeah guys comment down below from like 1 to 10, where would you have put that? Do you agree? Uh, also, like the video. If you're new, subscribe. And comment down below also what I should react to next. Thank you very much for watching. It's been your boy. Take care. Take it easy. Peace. Better subscribe to Names Nico or else. And you better like it too. Or oh, why I order.